Hey everyone, this is Gigi Chili here and I got a video just dedicated to an art time lapse here. So this one here, I drew a few portraits in Procreate. So I'm going to kind of rewind back to when I got the iPad. So I got my iPad about a year ago and I kept seeing artists on YouTube and also on Instagram use iPad specifically and they've always praised Procreate. I've seen some works created by these artists on the software or the program and they've all looked amazing, they all looked great and at the time it convinced me to actually get myself an iPad in general so I kind of did a bit of research before doing a quick buy of the product so I decided to kind of look to see which one was best for me so iPad Air or iPad Pro. I have noticed that a few artists kind of went and splurge on the iPad Pros but I think for them they kind of do it professionally compared to me which is like a hobby for me for now so I kind of just ended up getting myself an iPad Air just because an iPad Pro was just way out of budget for me I didn't see the point of getting it just for Procreate so an iPad Air was enough for me at least. I went to the store during the middle of the day and got myself the iPad Air 5th gen and then also the Apple Pencil 2nd gen. While I was there I just decided to kind of get the folio there because it was there. After that I actually purchased myself a screen protector and this is like a Japanese brand. I don't remember what it was. I did go on Amazon and did a good amount of kind of research, kind of looked around to see which one's the best one. I did not end up with paper like I think there were some negative reviews about it so I was hesitant to buying that so what I did was just I ended up looking around and then people were recommending or the websites were recommending this sort of Japanese brand of screen protectors so far I had a good amount of reviews not as much as paper like but overall in terms of positive reviews at the time it looked better and after I installed it it was quite nice I like the friction I don't draw too hard on the iPad which is a good thing for me I am mindful with drawing way too hard on either the Wacom tablet that I have and the iPad I don't want to damage something by accident for Procreate I'm really loving it I am very impressed it was only about I think 12 13 dollars with DAX so it was actually pretty pretty good I love the fact that it's very affordable it's not going to burn a hole in your wallet. I think that certain softwares or programs tend to overcharge. So this in particular Procreate was definitely like a kind of godsend for all artists because we can afford to purchase a program that is actually worth your money and also definitely bang for your buck because you get a lot out of the software. So I love that the brushes are not throwaway brushes. They are actually solid brushes you can use and there's just so much variety of tools you can use and it's so simple to use. Very, very easy to navigate as opposed to, to Photoshop. If you have no idea how to use Photoshop, you may have to check a YouTube video or you have to check a website to understand how to navigate. But with Procreate, honestly, it was just like, what, 10 minutes I was able to use the program. Keep in mind, I have used Photoshop in the past, so getting into this program was pretty easy to get into. So for these references, I just Googled portraits and then I just picked five random ones so I kept in mind about choosing portraits that were all very different so in terms of skin tone I did not want to paint the same skin tone everyone has different skin tones so I wanted to practice that I think that's very important when using references that you have a variety of examples to use or reference to. I also did not want to just draw girls or just women. I wanted to expand my knowledge, so I also included male portraits as well. And then I also included people of different sort of age ranges. So I did not want to paint people who were just super young. It was like, okay, well, I want to paint someone who's young but also someone who's middle-aged and someone who's also very old so i want to practice that as well i also want to practice painting wrinkles and also different facial features as well because that's also very important to reference as well like if i wanted to draw someone who is a person of color i need to be able to have that knowledge or even have references to use for those who are interested in following or seeing any sort of art related stuff that i create please follow my tumblr i mentioned in a previous video before that i do not use instagram or like instagram for posting my artwork i just post nail polish there i prefer tumblr when it comes to art so 
so please follow that particular account instead. If you're into nail polish like I am and you want to see nail polish content, please just check out my IG. So please enjoy the rest of the time lapse. I will see you guys next time. Bye.